I always have a great time building my own hydroponic systems. It's fun to build with the plastic totes and buckets I get from stores as well as trash cans. I get some of my hydroponic parts off of Amazon and some of the uh, tubing I use actually comes from some of the local hardware stores. This year I built the four bucket twin reservoir system with the controller bucket that you see and it uses the Kratky model of non-circulating hydroponics. The controller maintains a uniform level of nutrient within all of the buckets and the plants will grow down uh, their roots into that nutrient solution in each bucket. It gets replenished as the plants use the nutrient. Well, this year I started out and thought, well, why not put in tomato plants? Because they're heavy feeders, it would be a good test on the system. And I found four plants, but they weren't in the best of shape. Still, when I planted them, they began to sprout new fresh roots. The plants over time began to grow. And I was uh, actually very happy with the system. You know, it got to the point where I needed to actually get a cage or some sort of support for the tomato plants. Then lightning struck. I came out and the plants were dead and I just couldn't believe it. What happened? I looked all over the system, uh, thought that, well, you know, if you have a lot of points of connection, you know, such as shutoff valves, grommets, hose barbs, that you increase the odds that you're going to have a leak from one of those areas. And ultraviolet light will deteriorate the uh, parts over time too. However, what I ran into was no matter where I looked, I could not find the source of the leak. And so what I ended up doing was disassembling the uh, entire system and lo and behold, uh, one of my five gallon buckets actually developed a large crack in the bottom of it, which drained the entire system. And I thought to myself, how could I have prevented that? So moving forward, one of the ideas that I have is to independently feed each of the buckets from the reservoir system and to also uh, set up my system with check valves. And a check valve, of course, would allow the nutrient to flow out in one direction, but not to reverse in the opposite direction. So if I had any other buckets that would crack, that would help prevent the entire system from uh, draining out. You know, at least I could catch it and at a minimum save the rest of the plants. So uh, that would be a piece of advice that um, might be, you know, good advice for anybody who's out there who's using plastics. Plastics, of course, are not the ideal medium uh, to grow in. Even if they're food grade, uh, they do deteriorate over time. So it's always important to pre-flight your equipment and make sure that it's prepped for the growing season.